Yo, what is going on, guys? Revised here. I'm bringing a part two at you guys. Yeah, for camera manipulation. So, in the previous tutorial, part one, I've taught you guys how to do this. So, you know, you can create a little cutscene or something. You can't move your camera, just get set right here. And if you want to know um, how to script this, then you can go watch part one. I'm going to have the link in the description to part one. And this is basically all the code. It was pretty short. And I'm going to add on to this code. So what we're going to do is make, make the screen disabled. So let's say if, if this is a, cu a cutscene in your game and you want a play button. So whenever you press play, it's just going to set the camera back to your character. That's what we're going to be working on today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new GUI. So, I, I, if you're good at creating GUIs and you, um, you mess with GUIs a lot, that's I, I'm always messing with GUIs. But usually, whenever you make GUIs, what you want to do is have one screen GUI and then have like folders or frames and all that in one. But I'm, this is just my game where I create tutorials, so it's you know I'm making a bunch of screen GUIs so you guys don't get confused on what to do so screen GUI we're going to call it let's call it camera GUI camera now it does not matter what the, the screen GUI name is um, doesn't matter for you guys also what we can do is let's see what we can do go in starter pack where the original script was for the camera and we're going to drag it inside our camera GUI. So, and then I'm going to name this camera handler. Yeah, camera handler. Okay, in camera GUI, we're going to create a text button. Okay. So, depending on how your game's set up with all your GUIs, I'm going to hopefully help you understand on how to find like from the script how to find that one text button that one play button because maybe you have like inside of camera GUI you have this frame and this this frame is positioned like right here uh, like it's right there and then you have your text button that's in the frame and it's sitting at the top of that frame I'm gonna teach you how to kind of find that one text button so what we're gonna do um, I'm going to position this a little down. Oops, wrong. Yeah, I'm just gonna have it right here. I know the GUIs look bad. It's just for the tutorials. So we're going to name this button "Play" in all caps. Make sure it's all caps um, for now. And yeah. Um, now the text does not matter. The text can be whatever you want, but the name just keep it as all caps for now. All right, so now in your local script, we're going, I'm going to make some comments. I'm going to do a double dash. That's how you make a comment. But then I do forward slash. I believe it's for, yeah forward slashes for just to make it look fancy. We're going to say client. That's the client's things. And then we're going to say this is the main, the main code. Then I'm going to make a new comment called GYs. GYs. Okay, so we're going to find that play button so local play equals so let's do local play button local play button equals and then to find your play button what you're going to want to do is you okay so instead of saying script dot play that would not work you can't say script dot play whoops stop play so if you're wondering what script is, well, anytime you see script, script is the the script that you're inside. As you can see, I'm in camera handler. So that's what script is. Script is this. So pretty much what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a variable for this play button. So that way, instead of saying script dot parent dot play dot mouse button one click and you know you call the event. You would just say play button dot mouse button one click. So we're gonna replace uh, instead of saying you know what I just said script dot parent dot play 
that mouse button one click, we could just say play button that mouse button one click. It's it's better just cre creating variables. So to find this, we would do script dot parent. So we have to go in the camera GUI. So instead of doing script dot camera camera GUI, do script dot parent, and then while since we're in the parent, then we can go and get the play button. So dot play. So that's how we found find this object. So now down here we can say play button dot mouse mouse button one click dot clock what and then connect function and it takes no parameters so parameters would be in here but it takes none and then so what it's saying is whenever we click on the play button and then it's gonna run the code here whatever's inside of here so what do we want to do is let, let's see what we can do let's uh... let's play this game and let's see what we can do to get the camera uh... back to how it was so as you can see i can't do anything we click on it it does nothing of course it does nothing yet so we can go on our backpack actually no it wouldn't be backpack our player gui we go in camera gui camera handler turn disabled on okay yeah that does nothing so what we can do is we can go inside the camera inside of workspace and then change the camera type to custom and then that's all we have to do so we need to change the camera type to custom so once we press the play button we go to camera and then that property called camera type so we do camera dot camera type equals enum actually instead of saying camera dot camera type equals custom I believe that would work let me I never use a string for camera type I always use the enum I guess I say enum right so as you can see it still works you can do a string which this is a string or what I do and the better way of doing it is enum dot camera type dot custom this is a better way of doing it. I would recommend learning this way I'm not very sure why it's a better way but I got taught from to do that so press on play and there you go your characters back to normal um also if you wanted to remove this GUI the play button after what you could do is um, so once it sets the camera back we do play button destroy oh my goodness can't type play button destroy and that's pretty simple yeah so like I was saying if you had it in a frame so let's go to insert object a frame so you have this frame you got the play button in it I'm just gonna make the size like this I'm just gonna position this down a little whoa okay so say you I know it looks very ugly say you had a frame with a bunch of buttons and you know you got the you got the play button at the very top and then maybe you add another button so the the code would not work we have to change it up a little so all we have to do is change this variable um so okay just saying script dot parent dot play if if this the frame name was play like how the button was because the buttons name was play it would not work because play the I mean the frame doesn't have an event called mouse button one click because it's a frame it's not a text button so that would not work I just wanted to say that but to do this we would do I'm going to name this container because you know it can hold all your buttons dot container dot play so it's, it's very simple <laughs> so script dot parent dot container dot play hopefully I explained that well I'm not a very good explainer but yeah and that's pretty much it so I do plan on making a part three and part three or part four I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing um, with this camera yet 
but I do plan on making the camera spin in circles later on in another camera manipulation tutorial. So let's test this out and see what happens. So I'll press play and the button gets removed but the frame doesn't. So say you wanted the frame, I'm glad I tested it out, that out. Say you want the frame to be removed too. So you would do play button. So we have a variable called play button. So play button is this actual button. Now if you want to remove this frame, what you could do is play button dot parent. So it's going to go play button dot parent because container is the parent of play button and then it's just going to destroy it, which it's pretty much the same as saying you you know you want to remove it from the game. So we can publish that and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.